Hello everyone, welcome to Grizz Zombies. I'm Violent. There's been some recent news dropping that I wanted to cover, so here are five recent facts about Black Ops 3, because why the hell not? The first thing I want to dive into is Shadows of Evil. This is the only other confirmed map next to the Giant. Now for those of you who don't know, there's a character whose name is Nero. He is a magician, but can you guess who is voicing this character? If we look at Nero, you could probably get a good idea, but the odds are you're probably wrong. Let's take it back to the early 90s, son. I'm talking Jurassic Park. Now if you remember this suave man with that wicked hairdo, that is Jeff Goldblum. He is the voice actor of Nero, so boom! There's your first fact for Black Ops 3. On to the next one. We got some sort of unlock being talked about after completing the campaign in Black Ops 3. Now on camera, Jason Blundell mentions about unlocking something special after the Black Ops 3 campaign. But according to Video Gamer TV and other YouTubers, such as Milo or Mr. Darlick JD, uh, they were told that it was zombies related. So take what you will from it, but due to the timing, some unlockable would appear to be confirmed at this point. The next thing on the list is our confirmed train in Shadows of Evil. Now there's a few threads on Reddit talking about the concerns of the transit bus and how similar this train will be in Shadows of Evil. Well, we know that the train will be on the map and the achievement says we'll be able to shoot out of it as well. So this train must not be instant travel, but this is what we know so far. Now, following this information, we'll move on to the iOS version of Black Ops Zombies, where the first update since 2014 was just released. Now, iOS 8 and 9 will be able to run Black Ops Zombies on mobile. It is unreal that they would wait this long, but it's finally arrived, and now you can enjoy Zombies on the Road, so that's good news for you if you're into that. A link for the official Call of Duty video for this will be in the description box below. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is not so good news for everybody. The Treyarch is confirming no plans of a Call of Duty Zombies standalone game. This is more of a standalone experience. So I read this on Charlie Intel, so look for it in the description. Like I said, there'll be links there for you to check out. Treyarch's Jason Blundell, in an interview with Eurogamer, stated that they do not have plans for a Call of Duty Zombies standalone game. He stated that they want to offer multiple modes to allow flexibility and fans to pick up which mode they want, including Zombies. Now I'm going to quote him for further reasoning behind this. Jason Blundell. What started as being very much as a bonus mode in Zombies has now become a third pillar. We have this massive campaign now. We've got the Juggernaut, which is multiplayer. And now for the first time, Zombies has taken off as a full-on experience. It's really about flexibility and variety of choice for the amount of people who buy our games. So that's his reasoning behind it not being a standalone game, yet it's the third pillar in a standalone experience, Black Ops 3. So... Those are our five facts. I hope you learned something. Please leave a rating and drop a like. That brings us to the end of the video, and I thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next Zombies video. I'm Violent, and I'm out.